Welcome to another Pierce Pointer. Today we are going to go over a movement that is going to help you with increase your upper body strength. It's going to help you to get your first pull-up, you to get more pull-ups, you to get your first muscle up, increase your pulling movement for weightlifting, whether it's deadlift, clean, getting a little bit stronger in your upper body is going to help with all of those movements. So we are going to go over an inverted row. You'll just need either a set of rings, a set of TRX straps, you can use a bar, whatever you have available. So, for the inverted row, you are going to set yourself up directly underneath the bar. Feet are slightly out in front, knees are slightly bent, pulling your wrists to your ribs. Make sure that core stays nice and tight. I don't want any loose cores, arch backs. I don't want using your hips to get up. None of that. We're working a strict movement here. Core is nice and tight. Knees are slightly bent. Pulling up, right back down. Nice and controlled the whole time. If it's too difficult with your feet that far out, bring your feet back. The more vertical you are, the easier it's going to be. You'll have a little bit more weight in your feet, but it still is a good way to practice and work on that upper body strength. So as I said, if your feet out too far is too difficult, you can move your feet in. Set yourself up so your feet are directly underneath the bar where the straps are hanging from. Lean back those knees still slightly bent, pulling to your ribs. Notice my core is still nice and tight. I'm not using my hips to initiate the movement. Nice and tight, pulling up right there. If you find that to be too easy, you can get 15 reps, not a problem. Feel free to elevate your feet. The higher your feet are, the more weight is going to be in your upper body, the harder it will be to perform. I like to include these in my workouts as accessory work, up to sets of 15, like I said, with my feet elevated, nice, strict movement, no using your hips, make sure your core is engaged the whole time, keeping those straps right, or keeping your elbows right close to you when you row. I don't want your arms out to the side. For here, we just want to keep those elbows in nice and tight. Make sure you are getting full range of motion, wrist to your ribs at the top, not cutting it short. Make sure you're getting all the way up. If you need to step back a little bit, that's totally fine. Just working that full range of motion so that we can increase the strength in your pulling muscles so that you can increase your number of strict pull-ups, which and then will increase your number of kipping and butterfly pull-ups, which will help you in any competition that you're at. The more upper body strength you have, the more pulling strength you have, it'll help with those muscle ups, whether it be ring or bar as well. So give those a try, let me know how they go.